Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add text into your video using VSDC Free Video Editor. First off, open VSDC on your computer. Currently, I am using VSDC Free version. If you want to buy a VSDC Pro license, check out the link I put in the description to get 10% off discount coupon code to save your money. Now I will close this notification. Click here to create a blank project. Check out your project settings such as your resolution, frame rate, background color and audio settings. Then, click finish to start your project. Let's import an example footage into the editor now. With VSDC, you can click on this import video button to import your footage into the editor. Or drag and drop your footage from your computer's folder directly onto the preview canvas to import it. Both ways will get the same result. Here I have my example footage of me talking in my studio. Let's use it as an example. Hello. Welcome to my channel. Now I will add a simple text to my footage and show you different format options you can use in VSDC to help you understand how it works. To add text, click on this D button. Select text. Then, select appropriate settings for your text positions. Being mentioned that you can change the position of your text later easily. So, I will click OK to move forward. After that, you need to select a part on the screen to put your text inside. Once you release your mouse, a new text box, or text object will be created on your editing timeline, and your object explorer at the same time. Now you need to type your text in this box to make it appears on the screen. By default, the text size is very small, especially those of you who are editing videos on laptop like me. So, I always change my text to bigger size before I type anything in the box to see it better. To do that, click on this drop down menu at the editor tab and change its size to bigger one. Let's say 48. Now I can type my text title. With VSDC, once your text title is added, you can customize it in many different ways in this editor tab at the toolbar menu. For example, here you can change your text color. Select a color for your new text. Or highlight the previous one and change its color. You can also change your text fill color by clicking at this brush icon. Change the background of the object area in the properties window. VSDC's text editor is very powerful. However, you may need to spend your time customizing your title like the way you want with all the options it offers. Let's me show you some examples. This is an example title I created. Let's increase the character space with the editor. Select character at this drop down menu. Increase the percentage here. Let's also make the object area bigger so that the text will not be covered. And stretch out the character a little bit with this kerning option. I will move it down a little bit so that the title will not cover my face. Let's also make the text border a little bit bigger with the contour options. Oops. It's too big. Let's adjust a little bit. Alright. The first effect I want to add to this title is fade in and fade out effect. To do that, right click on the title box on the timeline. Select video effect. 
then select Transparency, and add Fade in Effect. Leave it from Scene Begin and click OK. That's how to add Fade in Effect for your text. And actually, it's the same way to add Fade Effect for your video, or image in VSTC. Let's go ahead to add Fade Out Effect for this title with the same steps. Select to the end scene this time. Let's preview the effect I've just added. Hello, welcome to my channel. Look great, right? Let's add another effect at the Transform tab. For example, I want my text appear normally, and then zoom out to bigger text, then return to normal. To do that, also right-click on the text box, and select Video Effect. This time, I will select Transform, and Zoom. There are other Transform options here you can try for your text if you want. Let's add Zoom Effect. Click OK to apply. Now I will pull out my properties window to adjust zoom level to create the effect that I want. Let's move this zoom effect box to the middle of the text first. To make the text bigger, we need to increase the zoom level of the properties window. Being noticed that if you wanted a bigger text, you can increase the zoom level above 100. To zoom in, or make the text smaller, you can reduce zoom level to below 100. It's how zoom in and zoom out effect works in VSTC Free Video Editor. Let's preview my text with 200% zoom out. Welcome to my channel. It's a little bit out of the screen. Let's change it to 150% zoom out so that the text can fit the screen properly. Okay, let's add zoom in effect by doing the same steps for this text title. Okay, let's fast forward this part to save your time. And here is how zoom out and zoom in effect looks like. Okay. Let's add a special VFX effect for this title and export it now to see final result now. You can also add special VFX effect to your title at the same video effect. For example, I will add fire VFX to my title. Change to scene begin, click OK, and here is how it looks like. Finally, at the beginning of the track on the timeline, you can select one of this blending options to change the look of your title. It's all up to you to decide which blending mode to use. For example, I can select overlay option for my title. Ok, let's export this project and show you the result now. To export your project in VSDC, click on export project on the toolbar menu, select export profile. Check out all your export settings before you start exporting your project. Don't forget to uncheck Hardware Acceleration option if you're using VSDC Free Video Editor, not Pro version. Otherwise, your output will be watermarked like the program says. Let's close this and disable Hardware Acceleration option to get rid of the watermark now. Oh, hello. Have you subscribed to my channel? If not, you can do it now. Or you can wait until the end of the video. It's okay. Thank you. Bye. I am going to export this project. So, that's all I want to share with you in this tutorial. If you have any question, let me know at the comment section below. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in my next videos. Bye for now.